Hey, hi, and welcome. It's Megan here. Welcome back to another vlog. It's like mid-morning right now. I'm getting ready to make me some breakfast and my dresser just got delivered, so I'm about to put that together. So, let's get into it. The box is insanely heavy, so I'm just gonna start taking the pieces out like right around here and spreading them out And then I'm gonna try to build it in my bedroom so I don't have to like push the dresser So hopefully I have enough space um, Let me show you guys. I cleared out about the area kind of where it's gonna sit so like right here I got like the longer dresser so So it's a complete mess, but I've unboxed every or all of the pieces. So some are over here, some are here, and then I also have some of them over here. But I reviewed the instructions and I'm just gonna take it one step at a time. It has 24 steps. So we can do this. <laughs> So I think I'm officially halfway through building the dresser. Um, I did a few steps out of order. One of the last like six steps is to build all the drawers. I went ahead and did those just so I could feel like I'm making some progress. And so then once I went back and did the other steps, I only have, I think like um, half the steps left until I'm done. So I'm at the halfway point. So far, I've been working on it for two hours and like 15 minutes, which I feel like for a big dresser, that's not too bad for me personally. So um, I just wanna take a break now cause it's like um, getting a little later. I need to do, um, run like a couple of errands. I need to like um, take, some, like go talk to my leasing office about some stuff and then drop something off at the FedEx um like the fedex just the fedex store so these are the pieces i've built all of these have the brackets on them this is like the bottom and then i've built all six drawers so i feel like this is a pretty decent stopping point so yeah i'm making progress kind of slowly but i'm making progress back from running my errands they took me about two hours so it's now six i'm ready for dinner i still haven't done any more with the um dresser but i'll cross that bridge later but i'm just gonna throw all the debris that's in the box i'm gonna put that in a bag and sit it outside so i can do the trash valet i've been trying to like use my amenities at my apartment more because that was the whole point of getting a new apartment so I can have amenities. So I gotta make sure I use them, you know? And I'm not used to the trash valet, so I keep forgetting to use it. So I'm gonna sit this out there in like a trash bag. I got it all in a trash bag. All right. 
Now it's time to make dinner. Mediterranean bowl. I'm super excited. I put the dressing underneath all the toppings to make it cuter, but I may add a tiny bit more dressing on top, but I tasted the meatballs. They're really good. So I'm super excited to eat this. I'm on my couch. I got my food in my little tray. I'm so excited to taste everything. Let's try some salad. The meatballs are really good. I just sent mom a picture of my food and she was like, did you pick that up somewhere or did you make it? And I was like, I made it. And she's like, oh, wow, it looks like you picked it up. And I was like, you know, that makes me feel good. I think it's pretty, um, it tastes really good. I feel like it's pretty healthy, so yes. Now, I'm gonna watch Netflix. I've been watching The Resident and uh, it's really good. I had never seen it. You know, I love a good doctor show, hospital. I love a good like healthcare hospital show for real. So I'm excited to watch it. It's not as sad as Grey's Anatomy. So I, I'm enjoying it. Um, it's a lot of drama. They're doing crazy stuff. Let me know if you've seen it or let me know what you're watching right now. So I'm gonna go eat and relax. Good morning. It's the next day. Uh, so I just got up and got dressed. It's about 8.30 now. And um, I'm just about to open up my little digital planner that I just bought. But basically I got one of those like digital planners off of Etsy because it was on sale for like $4. And I was like, even if I don't use it all the time, this is, you know, it's better than nothing. Um, I've been like not using a planner as much and so I just want to try to get back into planning and I have this iPad and now that I'm not editing videos on it I'm not really using it I don't want it to be like a waste and originally I wanted the iPad to digital plan so I was like I'll experiment with it and see if I like it I'm typically like a physical planner type person and I'll definitely still write things down on like a notepad or something too but I just wanted to try out digital planning. Here is the outfit for today. Um, everything is from Amazon, I think. Yeah, I just wanted to wear something super casual and then my little like Michael Kors tote bag. As you can see, the rest of the pieces and the boxes are behind me because we're gonna finish putting the dresser together when we get back from Target, but I just wanted to go ahead and knock that out since it'll be less busy right now because it's currently 8.50, so let's go. just came back from Target you guys it was 
low-key so chaotic in there even though like nobody was in there it was so many people stocking you couldn't hardly go up like any of the aisles but I saved like $40 so I feel good I love like at the end when it tells you how much you saved at the bottom so that makes me happy um so now I'm about to just head back home we can finally put this dresser together I'll show you the stuff I got and then um we'll go on with the day all right I'm back from Target haul time let's do a haul first thing i got are three different poppies to try um i got the strawberry lemonade i don't think i've ever tried that one and then i definitely haven't tried these two the raspberry rose and the cherry limeade they were like 30 percent off or something and i wanted to make the little mocktail uh so i also got some tart cherry juice i think this was on sale too and then a few other little small things. I got my emergency. I like the super orange flavor. And then I got my Dove dry spray. And then this sleep, slumber and sleep essential oil mist. Um, Cause I noticed like sometimes in the hotels they would have like the little mini uh, like lavender sprays and I really liked them. This one says it's for kids, but whatever. And then I also got some Louisiana hot sauce because I had just run out. And this is my favorite um, hot sauce to buy. I've actually never seen it at Target. I typically have to buy it at like Publix or Walmart. And I just got some eggs because I didn't have any more at all. And I got these um, chicken breast strips. I typically like to make my own like little chicken breast things because it's cheaper. But I have like some salad stuff and I literally have like no food but I literally have lettuce. So I was like, let's just get that. I can make like a salad for lunch. And then I got my Stoke cold brew that I like. And then I got a Panera bread, the baked potato soup, cause I like this. And then um, some coffee made coffee creamer. Cause I don't like to run out of this. I got some pepper jack, um, Sargento cheese because it was on sale and I like Sargento. <laughs> now, the main reason I went to the store for these two items Toilet paper and trash bags. I have a few trash bags left, no toilet paper. So I'm actually gonna pull out one of these rolls right now. But I bought all this other unnecessary stuff. It's not unnecessary though, cause I kind of needed some of this other stuff too. Um, I also got some more mascara. I like the Maybelline, it's not focusing. Oh, cause it can see me. The Maybelline Sky High mascara. It's one of my favorite drugstore ones. And the last thing I got is the little, Skirt. I've been wanting a tennis skirt so bad. I, I couldn't fit the denim little romper and they had no other sizes. That was in a size six. I figured I couldn't fit a six if it doesn't have any stretch. Like there was no stretch at all. If it had been stretchy, I would have been able to fit it. But I typically with no stretch would need like an eight, maybe even a 10 with no stretch at all. So yeah, but the skirt and then a sports bra to go with it this was so cute on i showed it to you guys in the fitting room i love it um <laughs> i'm totally gonna get it in other colors okay, dude, just four. okay i decided to go ahead and just heat up the soup because it's quick it's easy and it's already like 11 15 so it's basically like just an early lunch so we'll skip breakfast. <laughs> So I'm sitting next to the dresser. I started looking through the things again. You guys, I just don't feel like doing this. Like it's Friday. I just wanna chill and relax and make me like a drink or something. Like I do not feel like making this dresser. And I mean, I've lost a lot of time because I talked to one of my friends and then I talked to my mom and I'm like, okay, now it's time to do the dresser and like, I'm trying to figure out what step I'm on and I just feel frustrated. So, you know, I'm actually not gonna do the dresser. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna make me a drink. Yeah, I'm gonna make me a drink. And, ooh, 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 I got some new, like, uh, a couple of dresses from Fashion Nova, and I need to try them on to see, like, to make sure I like them. So yeah, we're gonna do that. That sounds more fun, yeah. So 
I just made a drink with this 1800 uh, mango mix. Um, it's like a ready to serve one. So it's the ultimate margarita with mango flavored. So it already has tequila and stuff in it. Uh, it's just really sweet for me. So that's why I added the lemon. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to stir it. I guess I could have put it in a shaker. I'll use my little like mixing spoon from the little bar. It's good. But yeah, if you've ever tried it, you like super sweet drinks, this is it. Um, and for me, it's a little too sweet for me, so I just add um, some lemon juice. So now we can drink my drink and try on some clothes. <laughs> All right, here's a little package. Let's start. Ooh, it's giving spring, summer. Oh my gosh, I actually really like this. I only I bought a few dresses. Um, they were on sale for like $7. I haven't shopped at Fashion Nova in a long time, but this is cute. I have no idea where I'm wearing it, but it's cute. Ooh, I like this one. I love wearing black. I feel like black looks really good on me. I also like the length on these. Cause it's like, it's still sexy, but it's not too much. Cause you know, I'm covering a little bit. Um, it does have a little moment up here. You know, these are cute for $7. I like it. It's, it's a yes for me. This one's cute too. I don't know why I got all tight dresses because like, where am I about to wear these? But they're cute. I yeah. Hey. So. This one's giving more club. <laughs> Obviously, um, we're going to a section, turn up, drink, popping bottles. That's what this is giving. Um, it's super short, so I don't know what else I would wear it to. <laughs> but it's cute. I also realized these sunglasses are also from Fashion Nova, so I was like, I might as well show them to you guys um since i've had them on my head all day but yeah i like this dress it's giving a little bit of date night you know cute she's cute because you know i'm fully covered so I, I like that but it's still a little sexy this this is a cute little vibe i don't go on dates for real um i'm honestly just hoping I meet my husband through a mutual friend or I already met him because finding someone new, I'm not into it. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. I'm just kidding, you guys. Am I kidding? No, I'm not. It's another club dress, club dress. But yeah. Um, yeah, again, don't know where I'm where it is for real because I don't really go to club. <laughs> Maybe I'll become a new person now that I've moved here. I doubt it. But yeah, this was cute. You know, it's blue. It's comfy. Okay, the next one, th this is me. I love me a good two-piece set. This is cute. So like, I can tie it different ways. They're little shorts. And then I could tuck this, tie it and stuff like that. I just kind of buttoned one little button so I could try it on. I feel like the pattern is doing a lot. So maybe like vacation. Okay. I absolutely love this. This is me right here. Workout set. This is what I like to wear, matching set. And this one fits so good. Like it's kind of cinching in my waist a little bit. It's, it's you know, very stretchy and comfy. I think it's squat proof. Ooh. It's definitely squat proof. But anyway, this was the end of my haul. I'm on the couch now. I'm waiting for my DoorDash order. It said it'll be here in like 
25-ish minutes. My apartment is a shit show because I refuse to put this dresser together. It's just crazy because like, I think in the past at my other apartments, I've never had this hard of a time putting stuff together because typically it's like, I only put like one thing together in the span of like a few months, maybe two things, especially like big pieces of furniture, like a dresser, or TV stand, that kind of thing. And like with this apartment, I've literally put the little small dresser, the bed, the vanity, the TV stand, the couch. I just like, I just feel like I'm constantly putting furniture together. And like, I think beforehand it was like, putting furniture together was something that was fun for me. And like, it's not fun anymore. I should have done Task Rabbit, Task Bunny, whatever it's called, Task Rabbit. My mom calls it Task Bunny, so she'd be confusing me. I should have done that because like at this point, it's just like, I, I'm not getting enjoyment out of it. It's taking me forever. And then like the fact that I'm filming it, it's like, I wanna like do it all in one day or <laughs> like in the span of one video, but I mean, at this moment, like this is just my real life. Like I just don't have it in me. I don't have the desire. I don't have the energy. I don't, I just don't want to, you know? Does that ever happen to you? Cause like, I feel kind of bad about it because it's like, I'm trying to do it like on my off days, but like, it, it'll be here when I get back. You know? I got it. Chipotle, Chipotle, Chipotle. All right, I don't know what I'm dancing for. I haven't even checked it to make sure it's right. I'm sure it is, and even if it isn't, the DoorDash person did mess it up. It would be someone who worked there. So I just realized I've only had like a little bit of water today. So let's do a little ice and then some more. Yeah, I. I had some water earlier before I went to Target, but I haven't had any water since I went to Target. Oh no, that's so bad. Perfect. It's good. Okay, now I know what you all are thinking. Megan, why do you not have a dining room table? Why don't you, why you want to sit at the couch? Even if I had a dining room table, I would probably still sit at my couch. But um, typically, I'm definitely gonna, I'm thinking about getting a dining room table and putting it like back there behind me in that space where there's always shit behind me because I keep putting boxes back there. But, you know, nothing, do a little taste. <gasps> oh my God, it doesn't have cheese on it. Those mess my bowl up. So they didn't put cheese on my bowl, so I just added some of my cheese. It doesn't taste the same, but it's okay. Um, that's the only thing that's missing. Honestly, that's not the end of the world for me. Um, but I like to do it in a different way, not like just rate the delivery, because when you do that, I think it looks bad on the DoorDash driver, and my DoorDash driver did a good job. So I'll just like send a chat. Um, to tell them that the store messed up my order, not my DoorDash person, if that makes sense. So, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna eat my bowl, relax, watch The Resident. Maybe I'll do another drink. Maybe not, because I'm a little tipsy. I think it's because I don't drink as much as I used to, so, you know. And then I will build the dresser, as you can see it behind me. I will build that in the next video. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I know it's kind of chaotic and weird, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. If you did, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.